Hi, welcome. I'm Ashley. Thanks so much for joining. So today um, we'll go over the basics and foundations of yoga. Um, it's what I always, always prefer because you get a great workout and um, you focus on alignments, focus on just the gentle movement. And again, you get a great strengthening practice. So what I recommend is two blocks. And I basically recommend that for every video, every practice. Um, they're good if you want to advance your practice, if you have an advanced practice, if you want to modify, if you want to focus on alignment. I highly encourage two blocks um, every practice. That's what I always have. And um, again, I recommend it. So two blocks and of course a yoga mat, any other props that you need, uh, towel, water, whatever you need. So um, again, the foundations of yoga. So first, breath work. As you want to come to a nice, tall, comfortable seat, or as you come to a nice, tall, comfortable seat, there's a lot of options here. And know that it's okay to move at a point where you get um, a discomfort. If you're at a seat for a while, it's okay to move. You don't have to feel discomfort and try to breathe through it. You want to have the flow of energy constantly going through. So, um, I'm at a seat here. I'll stay here for a little bit. If you want to go ahead and go to your mat and sit onto a block so your hips are higher than your knees. That is really important. Hips higher than your knees, so a little bit of lift onto the block or pillow. A cross leg position is um, great, crossing the ankles with the knees out wide or even onto your shins. And then have a couple organic movements. Begin to move your side body, rotate your shoulders back, draw your head from side to side. And then once you feel comfortable at your seat, shift your shoulders in line with your hips. And then let's just rest the hands down onto the lap. We'll pick, take palms up for a little bit more energy and just feel that nice at our base. Now close your eyes. And just breathe naturally about five rounds of breath. Just notice your pace, how deep you breathe. And there's no right or wrong. And then breathe into your belly. So you'll let your belly come forward. Maybe belly touches your pinky fingers on your lap and then draw your belly back in, far, far, far back in, complete exhale, navel towards the spine. Repeat, big inhale, puff up your lower belly, let your lower belly come forward. Exhale, draw your navel towards your spine, all the way, all the way, as if you can reach your lower back. Breathe into your belly. And exhale, draw your navel in. Five more rounds, breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. And breathe out. Now as you continue to breathe, feel a more circle around to your lower back as you inhale. So you wanna puff up your belly, side of your belly, all the way to your lower back, really filling up the lower lungs, and then once again, navel towards the spine. Big inhale, lower belly, lower back. Exhale, slowly bring the navel back in. Just take three more rounds just like that. Breathe in. And breathe out. Puff up lower back and lower belly, lower lungs. Exhale. One more, breathe in. 
Breathe down. Now, as you continue to breathe, move it up towards the side of your lungs. So feel the side of your lungs expand outside, your ribs open, and then exhale, your ribs will naturally close. Breathe in, lower belly, lower back, side of your lungs. And exhale, draw everything back together. You want to feel its big wingspan out to the side. Breathe in. And breathe out. Take three more on your own. And draw one palm on top of the other to your heart center. Press down onto your skin and then breathe into your heart space. So you'll press your chest against your palms as you take a big breath in. And then exhale, the palms gently press down onto your chest, ribs close, navel towards the spine. Inhale, puff up lower belly, lower back, side of your lungs, all the way up to the top of your chest. Exhale, soften your shoulders, your chest, your ribs, navel to the spine. And repeat, big breath in. Big breath out. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more, breathe in. And out. All right, take your peace fingers um, together and your hands to your heart center. And you feel that space right in between your right and left side of your body and brain. So all the energy flowing, uh, masculine, feminine, goes back to center where you feel aligned and centered here. Really focus on that center midline balance throughout the rest of your day. Close your eyes, big breath in. And big breath out. One more for peace, for balance, big breath in. And big breath out. Draw your heart to mind. So thumbs to your third eye, space between your brows. This is where you hold creativity. Um, you can find visuals, colors, and you'll see a light, a good energy that you create for yourself and others. Take another breath and exhale. And just gently bow, tuck your chin towards your chest. And then take your hands behind the back of your head, gently melt your chin down to your chest with a little bit of pressure to the back of your head. Breathe into the back of your lungs and stretching the back line of your body, sending healing to your lower back, mid back, upper back, neck and crown. Slowly lift your head up, take your left hand down towards the side, fan out your fingers, and then take your right ear, right shoulder, lift your chin up, chest up, breathe. You wanna send the breath, the lungs into the left shoulder, left side of the neck. One more round of breath. And come back to center, realign the spine, so shift your weight back just a little bit more. Fan out your fingers, left ear, left shoulder. All right, back up to center. Now let's move forward tabletop position. Take the blocks to the lowest level. One block to each hand, and this is optional. So cat cow, we'll focus more on the pelvic tilt. So navel towards the spine, you gently round, and then gently drop the tail goes up, the belly goes down. Exhale, navel to the spine. Inhale, drop your belly, tail goes up. 
Exhale, navel to the spine, squeeze upper inner thighs as if you're holding a block and slowly release. And then take five more on your own. And already feel that breath to movement sensation. The balance of strength and healing to your lower back and pelvic floor. And take three more here. All right, and then slowly come to child's pose. Take your knees out wide, take your elbows onto the block and reverse namaste. Your prayer hands go back behind your lower um, back of your neck. Drop your forehead all the way down through the blocks and let your belly drop as you inhale. Breathe into your lower lungs. Walk your elbows a little bit more forward. Two more rounds of breath. Shift your weight forward in tabletop position once again. Close the knees, hips with distance. Just work the upper back so arms straight. Just drop your chest through the shoulders and exhale, press away. Heart goes down, back of the heart active, press up. So it's similar to a push up, just with straight arms. And exhale, active, press away. And just take five more. And nice neutral spine. So modified side plank, left hand down onto the block, left knee turns to the side, extend your right leg long. So plug in the left hip, activate the left glutes, knee is underneath the hip and point your right toes. Right hand goes overhead. So you want to feel that diagonal sensation, fingertip to toe, an option to walk your right foot back a little bit more and bow your body. Press your hips forward and full reach. Make sure it feels okay into the lower back. And then arrive back up to center and other side, right hand down, right knee down. Extend your left foot, left hand. One more round of breath. Bow your body if you did other side. And tabletop position. Cat cow, drop the mid belly and exhale, mid back rises up. Inhale, cow pose, drop belly. Exhale, round and curl cat. Take three more on your own, match your breath to your movement. Nice neutral spine, downward facing dog. Let's keep the blocks there. One to each hand and tuck your back toes and make a nice um, capital A with your body. Pump one heel down and then the other. Bring your torso closer to your thighs. You can still pump right heel then left. And then try to bring both heels energetically down. That doesn't mean it has to touch the mat. Just both energy, both heels energizing down towards the mat. Lift your tail a little bit higher. Take one more breath. And then tabletop position. Come down to your knees safely. Move the blocks off to the side. 
and we'll take chaturanga push-ups. So you're gonna shift your weight forward onto the knees so your body's at an angle. Elbows bend back for chaturanga. Frame your rib cage, come halfway down and press all the way up. Five more. Halfway down and press all the way up. Four more. Halfway down, press all the way up. Three more. Halfway down, all the way up. Be proud of yourself, two more. Halfway down, all the way up. And one more, halfway down and all the way up. Nice, arrive down to a seat. Um, you can circle out your wrist if the shins are too tight, if this is too tight. Just circle into your glutes and go right here. Shake out your wrist. Come all the way down onto your back. Let's take supported bridge pose. So you'll take one block at the second level, lift your hips and take your block where your sacrum is or lower back and make sure it feels comfortable. You're supported onto the block. Rest your hands to the side. Now keep your gaze up and avoid turning your head and neck. Five rounds of breath. All right, now engage your heels. So heels energize down and energize slightly back. Lift your hips up, engage your glutes. Slide the block away from your body and then hold for three, two, and one. Slowly relax your glutes down. Supta Baddha Konasana, soles of your feet to touch, knees open wide. You can always slide blocks underneath the knees if that feels good or um, you can have a deeper stretch without the blocks. Let your pelvic floor spill forward. You can take your hands to your thighs, wiggle into your space, and notice if you're holding any compression into the lower back. All right, hug your knees in. So one hand to each knee, and then take knee and hip circles out towards the side, and circle in the opposite rotation. Keep your right knee in, extend your left leg long, make sure it feels okay into the hip, and just move the right leg out and in. and switch out your legs. And then come back to center. Happy baby pose. You can grab the back of your thighs if it's early. Um, the ankles is how I prefer or you can grab the outer edges of your feet. If you notice your tailbone lifting up, just drop it down to the ankles or thighs. A gentle rinse from side to side. Massage out your lower back. Three more rounds of breath. Stamp your feet down for hips with distance um, for figure four. If you feel like the back of your neck is lifted or your chin is up, go ahead and place a block at the lowest level underneath your head. So it's more comfortable, more protection onto your neck. And this feels great for me. Um, and I can bring my chin towards my chest. So know that 
this can be modified or um, just for better alignment. So let's take our left leg first. Left leg first, figure four. Cross your left leg over your right. Flex your left foot to help protect your knee. Gently move the left hand to the left knee and open up. If you want a little bit more, interlace your hands behind your right thigh and use your left elbow to open up your left knee. And this might feel intense. And take your time, breathe into it. Your breath is key. So when we're not moving and we're just in this nice static hold moving energy, your breath can be deep, a little bit quicker. Just have intention with your breath to heal, to create space, to open up. And the slower you breathe, the more calm you'll be. Take three more rounds of breath here. All right, and then slowly switch. Take your right hand to your right side, gently press it open. And then interlace your hands behind your left thigh. So you go through that triangle hole, take your right elbow to your right knee and tug in the left knee. So every time you go a centimeter deeper, or an inch over, you're gonna feel a different stretch. So really find those new ways, find your sweet spot and just breathe. Relax your jaw. Three more rounds of breath. Take your feet wide, knock your knees together, and then let your pelvic floor spill forward. So you're letting your lower back naturally rise and then bringing it a little bit more forward. So typically we bring our lower back down for strength. This time we just want to relax our hip flexors forward. And then gently draw your knees side to side. And keep both knees to the right. Make sure this feels okay into the lower back, hip, and IT bands. Take your right foot on top of your left thigh and give it a gentle pull forward. If it is too much, please draw back. And then other side, take both knees over to the left and then your left foot gently presses your right knee forward and down, giving a gentle pull. All right, back up to center. You can ditch the block away from the back of your head if you have it there. Grab behind the back of your thighs, rock and roll up to a seat, cross leg position, lengthen out your spine, twist towards the right, gaze over right shoulder, and then gaze over left shoulder. Back to center, take your legs long in front of you. Now for a deeper stretch, you'll take the block to the lowest level, heels on top of the block, reach your hands forward as you reach for the calves, pull back for your ankles, outer edges of your feet or to the block. So a lot of variations there. If this is too much into the hamstrings, you can ditch the block and take a bend into your knees if you feel too much of a pull into your lower back. Three more rounds of breath. Puff up your lower lungs. Six 
slowly lift all the way up. Ditch your block if you have it. Keep your left leg long and take your right knee over. Lift your chest. Exhale over to the right. This is great also if you want to place a block to the right hand. You feel length and twist a little bit deeper. All right, back up to center. Keep the block where it is. Just counter stretch to the other side. So same legs over, then back to center, then switch out your legs. Left leg over. Puff up your chest, lengthen out your spine. As you exhale, twist, left hand to the block. Create a little bit more space. All right, back up to center. Counter stretch to the other side. Back up to center. Take your block behind you, back to the top of your mat. Swing both feet around. Tabletop position. Walk your knees slightly back and come all the way down onto your belly. Cobra pose. So heels of the palms back by your lower ribs. Draw your elbows closer together. Tops of your feet are down. Inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, hover down. Three more. Inhale, lift your chest. Engage your quads, your core. Hover down. One more. Engage your glutes, your back, and hover down. Tabletop position. Downward facing dog, tuck your back toes, hips go high. Walk your feet forward. So take as many steps as you need forward and it's okay to use blocks to even take that step forward for a little bit more space. Halfway lift, hands are either to blocks or shins, shoulders go back and exhale folds. Shake out the legs. Now feel in the legs, fan out your toes, individually grip down. Keep your weight slightly forward and feel as if you're squeezing a block between the thighs. Navel towards the spine, take your hands behind your head, come halfway up, engage your glutes, your back, and slowly release. Keep your hands where they are. Two more, inhale, lift up, and hover down. One more with strength, use legs, glutes, and back. Very important, then slowly relax your hands down. Nice, hands to the hips, flat spine all the way up to standing. Take your hands by your side, traditional Tadasana mountain pose. Feel strong like the mountain, active through your legs, navel towards your spine, lifting through the crown peak of your head. Big breath in, big breath out. Big breath in, big breath out. Reach your hands up high to the sky. Exhale, fold, flat spine, bow down. Knees can be bent. Inhale, halfway lift. Uh, halfway lift, hands to the shins or block, and then high plank pose or tabletop. I'll cue to tabletop, drawing the knees out to the, or the weights mm, blocks out to the side. Hands forward, mid plank. So just how you did with those push ups. Come halfway down, hold. Upward facing dog. Press the tops of your feet down, lift your chest. Draw down to your knees and then press up downward facing dog. That is the transition I prefer for all of my practice. If you prefer to not use your knees, you can have the core strength and just lift up without using the knees. I'll show that variation. Inhale, gaze forward, travel to your gaze, step your feet forward, top of your mats. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, mountain pose, reach all the way up, flat spine. 
Exhale, fold, hinge at your waist, activate your glutes, micro bend your knees. Inhale, halfway lift, strong thighs, back core. High plank pose, plant your hands, step back. This is the full variation, halfway down chaturanga. Upward facing dog, tap your toes down. And then use your navel towards the spine, press your hips up, downward facing dog. Once again, I like the transition to the knees. Do what feels best for your body. Now take your right toes high. Kick a little bit higher, engage your right glute. And low lunge, step your right foot forward. Once again, I like the blocks during that transition. You can always keep the blocks to the top of your mat. Take your blocks to any level second or highest, and just feel a stretch through your left hip flexor as you lower your left thigh, and then press away, straighten out the right leg. Take a few more rounds. Gently lower left hip, and then take the right leg straight. One more. Lower left hip, and then keep the right leg straight. All right, back up to center. Now, activate the left glutes. Your hips are gonna naturally lift. You're gonna walk to the fingertips to your block and then hands to your heart center. Stay in this nice lunge position. We're here for four. This is challenging. Always can micro bend the knee to help release any tension or crunching into the lower back. Two more rounds of breath. And then hands go down, high plank or tabletop. I'm gonna use my blocks at the lowest level, chaturanga, halfway down, upward facing dog or cobra, downward facing dog, hips up and back. Same variations, left side, left toes go high, kick a little bit higher. And low lunge, stamp your left foot forward, top of your mat. I'm gonna raise my blocks a little bit higher. Gently press your right hip forward and then straighten out your left leg back. So make sure your sacrum feels fine in this transition, lower back feels fine. Pause in an active low lunge. This means lift and activate your right leg. Walk up to the fingertips hands to your heart center, then check in with your body, always can micro bend your knee. Bend a little bit deeper, hold four, breathe three, two, and hands go down. Walks to the lowest level, high plank pose, step back or down to the knees, halfway down chaturanga. Upward facing dog or cobra, Knees and then downward facing dog. Nice, gaze forward. Travel to your gaze, step or hop. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, fold. Tadasana mountain pose, reach your hands up high towards the sky. Hands to your heart center. We'll take figure four and balancing. I have wall space right here. I encourage you to use wall space, blocks, or even a prop nearby, like a couch, a chair, a table. I'll take the blocks to the highest level and we'll take left leg first. So left leg first, my hands onto the wall. You support, move if you need. Shift your way back and down. Once again, you'll feel a stretch here already. If you want a little bit more, reach down for the blocks, shift your weight back and down, and just breathe. Three more rounds of breath. At any point in time, you can get up, you can advance the practice. Two more rounds of breath. Slowly rise all the way up. 
As you rise all the way up, stamp your left foot down, shake that side out. And you'll take the same leg, left leg goes back behind you, kind of banana the body and find a nice reach. All right, back up to center and then figure four other side and shift your weight back and down. And go a little bit lower as if you're sitting into a low, low chair, breathing into your lower lungs, three more rounds of breath. All right, and then slowly rise up. Step your right foot down, turn to the middle of your mat and take your right foot back behind you. Once again, banana your body and find a nice side body stretch. Right back up to the middle of your mat and proserate a wide leg forward fold. So your toes are in, your heels are slightly out and then shift your weight down into a forward fold. You can rest your hands down, grab for the outer edges of your feet or walk your hands through your legs. Shift your weight slightly forward. Relax your head. Three more rounds of breath. Arrive halfway up. So if the blocks are nearby, just take them underneath the hands. They're gonna help us in a transition. Walk towards the top of your mat, low lunge. So uh, might be your right or left. Let's actually come to the top of our mat so we're on the same leg. So pedal out your feet, right and left. Continue with a flat spine. Blocks are at the highest level. And then let's both Send our left leg back, right leg forward. So left leg back, right leg forward and lower your left knee to the ground. Take your block to the right side of your body. Lift your left hand high and lean towards the right like a side body stretch. Press your left hip forward. All right, back up to center, blocks one to each hand, half split, straighten out your right leg. You can walk your hands back a little bit if you like. You can lower the blocks or once again, skip the blocks. Breathe into your lower lungs. And just two more rounds of breath. And then low lunge, walk your blocks forward, lift your back knee with strength, and then switch out your legs. Take your left leg forward, right leg back, lower your right knee, take the block to the left side, right arm goes high, and overhead, press your right hip forward. All right, back up to center. Take both blocks to frame your left knee and take half splits. If you don't feel so much of a challenge or big stretch, you can go a little bit lower, a little bit lower, wherever it feels right. Two more rounds of breath. Right, shift your weight forward, low lunge. Take your blocks to the lowest level or out to the side. We will take half pigeon. Blocks to the lowest level underneath the hands, tuck your back toes. Take down dog kick, left toes go high. And then half pigeon, left knee, 
to your left wrist and right leg goes long. Square your hips where the right hip is coming forward and plugs in, left leg goes back. You can drop down to your forearms or down to your forehead. Get comfortable here, stretch out the right hip and just notice if extra weight is dumping to one side. We want to feel a deep stretch here into our hips. Breathe into your lower lungs. Three more rounds of breath. All right, and fully lift up. Tabletop position. So walk the knee forward and then your left knee back and just circle around your hips, right, left, and left, right. And then modified side plank once again, right knee down, left leg extends. So we open up that left hip that we were just compressing. Take your tabletop position, downward facing dog. Tuck your back toes, hips go high, right toes go high, and half pigeon on your right. Right knee to your right wrist, lengthen your body down. Each side will feel a little bit different. Breathe. About three more rounds of breath. Slowly straighten out your arms. Tuck your back toes, walk your left knee in, and then tabletop position. And once again, circle into the body. You can drop your hips as low as you like here. Circle your hips back, drop your hips low. Just make sure it feels okay into the lower back. And then tabletop position, modified side plank. Left hand down, left knee down, open up a right side. tabletop position and come down onto your back. Hug both knees in. Take your knees over your hips and your arms out to a T. Let your knees fall over to the left, gentle twist. With strength through your core, ride back up to center and let your knees fall over to the right. Strengthen to your core, ride back up to center and just shake out your body, gentle circles into the lower lungs, lower back. And hug your body in. Bring your forehead close to your knee. And final resting pose, relax all the way down with your legs long, wiggle into your space. Now, if there is tightness into your lower back, always great to bring blocks underneath your knees or lower thighs at the lowest or mid level. You can also place a foam roll, a block, or a pillow. And as you continue to rest,
We enjoy taking time for ourselves. We enjoy the peace and quiet and stillness. So really enjoy this moment. Close your eyes and just breathe. There's a challenge arriving to your mats, doing something for you. There's a challenge doing the body work. One of the biggest challenges is shutting the brain down, pausing and allowing rest. You're completing the challenges. You're honoring your body, aligning and centering your day. Breathe. And then visualize the color, any color that comes to mind. And let it get brighter as you inhale and darker as you exhale. Either stay onto your back for a little bit longer or begin to wiggle into your space. Draw your head from side to side. Fan out your fingers, your toes. And reach your arms overhead, full body stretch. Roll to your right or left side. Use your bicep as a pillow. And then arrive all the way up to a comfortable seat. And draw your hands to your heart center, moving away from distraction, honoring your inner peace, clearing your mind, feeling more centered, being curious of where your mind, your body would go, Feeling a flow of energy through your body and in this sequence. Take a big breath in. And a big breath out. Draw your heart to mind. And bow to each other's practice. Namaste. All right, Yogi. So um, namaste um, is means basically a lot of things, but um, the teacher in me honors uh, the teacher in you. The student in me honors the student in you. So thank you so much for your request. You help me grow. These are challenging workouts for me. I get sore, I get energized, I get lifted. So um, I hope you get the same experience. Again, thank you so much. Um, I honor your practice. And of course, um, reach out to me anyway. And um, thanks again. Have a great day.